Today's quick look video includes an overview, pros and cons, fuel economy, MSRP, and other important bullet points to help you in your research process. Speaking of which, if after watching this video, you want to see the best prices being offered in your area on this vehicle or another, please use my free car shopping tool. There's a link below this video. Just fill in the make, model, and zip code, and qualified dealers in your area will pop up. Just choose which ones you want to work with, and you're good to go. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, just expand your area. All right, here's today's video. Video. Since its debut in 2015, the Mercedes-Benz GLA has been a popular, sporty choice in the competitive subcompact luxury SUV segment. The 2021 redesign thoroughly modernizes the GLA, bringing its styling in line with competitors and giving you, the owner, more power and quicker acceleration. The second generation GLE still offers good fuel economy, nimble handling, and an easy to use infotainment system now with standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Breaking down some of the pros and cons now, sporty character and agile handling, spacious interior in a small package, many standard and available features, and excellent fuel economy, but not as comfort focused as some competitors. And the infotainment touchpad takes some practice. You can choose between two trim levels, the GLA 250 and the race-inspired AMG GLA 35. All-wheel drive is optional on the GLA 250 model and standard on the AMG trim. Even though it's the lower-priced option of the two models, the GLA 250 still comes with a generous list of standard features, as it is a Mercedes-Benz after all. Starting around $36,500, the small Mercedes comes with exterior features like 18-inch alloy wheels, run-flat tires, tinted windows, rain-sensing windshield wipers, a power liftgate, fully automated LED headlamps, LED taillights, power-heated side mirrors, and a rear window wiper with defroster. Interior amenities include 8-way power front seats with memory settings, leatherette seating surfaces, a 40-20-40 split folding rear bench seat, remote keyless entry, push-button start, front and rear cup holders, dual-zone climate control, a cargo cover, and three 12-volt DC power outlets, air filtration, and a remote engine starter. It also includes standard safety and tech like blind spot monitoring, a backup camera, digital gauge cluster, automatic emergency braking, a child seat sensor, 7-inch infotainment display, four USB ports, voice control with Hey Mercedes activation, HD radio, eight audio speakers, and Bluetooth connectivity. Now with an MSRP of 48 grand, the more potent AMG GLA 35 comes with many driver focus upgrades and promises more speed. It features a powerful engine, dual clutch automatic transmission programmed by in-house tuner AMG, dynamic driving mode selector, three-stage active damping technology, sporty 19-inch wheels, aerodynamic exterior accents, and more. Powertrain-wise, the GLA 250 comes with a two-liter four-cylinder that uses a turbocharger to produce 221 horses, 258 pound-feet of torque. It is linked to a front-wheel drive system, all-wheel drive is available, and a slick shifting automatic transmission. Other technical features include four-wheel disc brakes, a 14.8 gallon fuel tank, a multi-link rear suspension, struts in front, and an EPA estimate of 25 city, 34 highway for a mixed driving number of 28. The AMG GLA 35 uses a similar 2-liter inline-4 turbo, but this one has been enhanced by AMG to produce 302 horses, 295 pound-feet of torque, all-wheel drive, and a dual-clutch automatic transmission come standard, as does a sport suspension. It features AMG ride control technology, which can adjust each wheel's damping within milliseconds. Fuel economy, 23 city, 29 highway. Overall, the GLA boasts sporty handling, a comfortable interior, and impressive fuel economy, making it an excellent choice in the subcompact luxury SUV arena. It's not as plush as some competitors, but it makes up for it with supportive, well-bolstered seats and plenty of standard technology. At the end of the day, it's a well-balanced small SUV giving competition a real run for their money. And that wraps it up for this episode of the Everyman Driver Car Show. Again, check out our sponsor below, mycarmatch.com. It's my go-to website for the best new and used car deals broken down by zip code. You can find a link below for a free quote today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Adios. To see more test drives, reviews, news reports, and consumer information, be sure to use the search bar here on my YouTube channel. Just type in 
any make, model, year, or topic, and just have fun exploring my channel. I've got 1,600 videos, been doing this since 2012. If I haven't done it, let me know in the comment section, and I'll do my best to produce a video for you coming up soon. Thank you.